The iClone workflow right now with MetaHumans requires a separate head and body, which in practice I found quite difficult to work with. So I've come up with a technique that I'm calling the Frankenstein MetaHuman technique, or Franken MetaHuman for short. It involves connecting an iClone head to a MetaHuman body dummy. It sounds quite simple and it is, but you just have to do things in a very specific order. So I'm gonna go through how to set it all up, but just have a look at these examples first. I put these scenes together really quickly, so obviously it's not great animation, but the point is that they show you all of the features of this technique. Two metahumans interacting fully with each other with facial expressions, and I was able to see exactly what I was doing in iClone with the heads and bodies combined. Here's another example that just shows off hand touch with props being fully accurate between what you see in iClone and what you see in Unreal. And this one shows the one big limitation, which is that in iClone, your head is going to be slightly different from the real thing in Unreal. So for hands touching faces, you'll need to live preview in Unreal to make sure the hands aren't intersecting the face. This is also the case when heads touch the ground, like when a character is punched out. You just have to look at it via live link and adjust it. But yeah, for most animation, this technique is really effective. Now it's important to understand that this is just a live link preview really, it's not frame accurate. But once you're happy with it, you can make a duplicate of your map and transfer the animation via FBX. I'll go through that a bit later. So how does the process work? Well, I've made a separate step-by-step -step video that goes into detail, but here's a quick overview of the process. It breaks down into eight easy steps. Step one, download a set of files from Reillusion called the MetaHuman Live Link Kit. This has a whole bunch of iAvatar files that are bodies that exactly match the 18 MetaHuman body sizes. It also has various files that you'll copy into your Unreal project in the next step. Step two, make your Unreal project. To do this, launch Unreal Engine and start a new project. Fix the floor level. Enable two iClone plugins. Add all the metahumans you want for your scene. So I'm going to add two for this example. Now copy and paste the folder called content from the kit files that you downloaded into your Unreal project. Now add your metahumans to the scene. Now adjust your metahumans blueprint so that root animation will work with iClone LiveLink. Step three, iClone characters. So now we need to make a character in iClone for each of our metahumans, and we'll end up with a separate iClone project for each one of our characters. So we need to choose a body and then a head. For the body, we can just copy the matching body dummy that came with the kit we downloaded. But in Character Creator, you can see that the body has bare feet and they touch the ground. So if your metahuman has shoes in Unreal, this obviously isn't correct. So you need to adjust the floor contact to allow a space for shoes under their feet. In iClone, we can attach little blocks to its feet so we can fully visualize the shoes and see them touching the ground perfectly. And that's gonna help with animation later on. And to finish the body, we can hide its head. Now we need a head for our character. So we just add one of the latest iClone characters to the scene. And then we hide its body. Now we just need to attach the head to the body. Okay, so now we just go through that process for each of our metahumans. And in my example, I've ended up with two iClone projects. Step four, iClone animation project. So now we just create a fresh iClone project for our animation scene and merge in our characters. Then we can go ahead and animate them. Step five, set up live link between viewports. So now set up live link between the viewports in iClone and Unreal, otherwise known as the Editor Active Camera. 
and so we can see a live preview of the animation in Unreal. Step 6. Animate. We can now go ahead and animate our characters and our props and our cameras and see a live preview inside of Unreal. Step 7. Transfer high quality animation. So when you finish animating, you can transfer your character and camera animation over via FBX, which gives us really high quality frame accurate motion. Step 8. Optimize visuals and render out. Finally, we can optimize everything we can see in our scene by adding a post-process volume and adjusting various other things so we can render out a final movie. So that's it. That's the steps of the process. Now, I've also made a video tutorial that goes through the process step by step if you want to follow along in more detail with that. So overall, I found that the Franken MetaHuman process makes animating MetaHumans with iClone much easier for myself, and I hope some of you find it useful as well.